Hi, everyone. Uh, this is my first time to speak uh, Rails, in Rails conference. I always got to be rejected by Rails conf uh, several times. So this time, I decided to buy me a slot in this conference. <laughs> so today, I will talk about a bridge building product with Rails. Uh, we, uh, we all know like building a product with Rails is very fast. But I'm, this time, I will talking about how to use Rails to build a, a really profitable business in very short of time. This time, I will talk about uh, my exchange, OTC, BTC. So a little of my background. So I personal is like 10 years a Rails developer. So this uh, before I go to business, so I bef uh, become several roles. Like uh, in the, uh, I start a consultancy before. I joined Silicon Valley before, but not when well. But uh, uh, in these three years, I study a business framework so then can combine my skills to business sense to be can become to build a like really fast growing framework. Uh, so today is about about how I doing this. So a little my background, I'm now the founder and the CEO of, of OTC BTC. So most of, of OTC BTC code, BTC code actually written by myself. Uh, the second background is uh, CTO of ICO Info. ICO Info is, I don't know if you know about ICO. So ICO is another way to raising money from crypto. So I used to be the CTO of the Chinese, the largest ICO platform. I also host a Rails conference in my hometown, Taiwan. So the conference is called Rails Pacific. So this is a little bit uh, of my background. So what is OTC, BTC tools? We have two kinds of business. One is OTC. The other kind is a crypto exchange. So I will do some quick introduce to this business. OTC is kind of crypto eBay. You can buy crypto on the website using your FIA, like kind of like you buying product from the eBay. Just this time is in crypto, like a uh, Bitcoin or Ethernet or all kinds of e uh, crypto. The second part is like a normal exchange, just like stock exchange, just we trade with the, the crypto. So today, the story is how about how we build a product and get 300 times growth in just two months. Uh, I, uh, the little OTC, BTC background. So we launched last year, October. So when we first launched, we got very good trade record. The one is that we got 50,000 users in first month. And the second is we got uh, 1.5 billion Chinese dollars in GMV. GMV is like a uh, gross uh, merchant, kind of like total the trade, trade volume in first month. And we also, break even immediately at uh, that month. And we got a net promoter score. Net pr promoter score is a term in gross hacking. It means you are, if your net promoter score is very high, then, you pro then your product is highly get chance get viral. So, and we, our gross rate, revenue and the trading volume gross rate is 20%. So today the topic is kind of uh, building a unique product with Rails. How do, how we achieve this achievement in just or uh, one month? This kind of like my personal walkthrough, like uh, in these five years. So, in like six years ago, I am like a developer, very senior developer. I know to build a lot of stuff, architecture, everything in in Rails. I almost know and very like have deep knowledge, but I'm not satisfied with my job. So I decided to go out to start my business. So I quit my job in 2012. So the first thing is I don't know what to do to be, build a business. So I decided to open a Rails consultancy. And so pretty much every Rails developer quit their job. They want to start up, they will do this. But a very, at the 
one year, I find out I really hate Rails consultancy. It's just very tired and uh, make money. The money is like I do very good job, but my customer don't satisfy my work. Even I work very hard. So then I decide I kind of only know how to write code, and I believe write good code can make good profit, but the idea is wrong. So I figured out I didn't know about the business, so I decided to sell my company to another Silicon Valley company to join the, their team as a VP of engineer. So I want to know how YC, YC company will success. So I learned a lot business there and uh, know how to build uh, architecture, with, uh, fast, uh, fast growing architecture with like business sense. So I quit the job again in 2005. This time I know how to build stuff, so I figure out the system, the framework, how to choose the topic, how to catch the strength. So finally, in like last year, like I make like probably multiple million dollars, I guess. So I, I don't like aluminum, like, but uh, like, but actually, if you so let's why I want to share this to like other developer because I think developer deserve they are the people who can change the world just they don't know about business so I want to share my story so that may everybody can be rich <laughs> so I think the first important thing the part one is you need to choose in a good topic so this is my story in China. In 2016, I was, I was like in China to build an online Rails coding camp. So Rails on coding camp is like a very popular topic in states, but not in China. So at the 2016, the China kind of have the trend, so like paying people to get the knowledge because they have very good WeChat and uh, Alipo, uh, Alipay system. So people used to, and uh, very used to, to pay people to learn stuff. So I, I think this is a very good opportunity. So I opened a co coding camp online. I didn't think about I can get so much students. My online coding camp is kind of 500 students at one batch. So it's kind of very crazy, and uh, we have two pages. So in summary, we kind of teach 1,000 students in only six months. So like they, this get me like two million USD dollars in profit. This is like two years ago. So after that, I start another business called ICO.info with my partner. I quit, so I closed this project. It's not because we like run out of students, it's because the crypto is rising in the China. So basically, kind of, I make too much money from the coding cable, then I invest in crypto. Then when I invest in crypto, I put my money all in my buying Bitcoin because I cannot wire money from China to Taiwan. Then suddenly, boom, the Bitcoin become like 20 times. So I'm kind of, why I'm, why I'm doing, so I'm like teaching code like looks, looks cannot make any profit to me at all. So I decided to build an ICO platform. So ICO is kind of, ICO info, in ICO info, we help 22 projects uh, raising over 200 million USD dollars just in two months. Then because the money we raise is so fucking crazy, so Chinese government shut down us. So quick, uh, a little quick explain is uh, what is ICO. ICO is kind, it's very different from traditional we raise the money. Kind of when very in like several years ago, so people want to start their crypto project, but they have no money. So people will invest in Bitcoin. But after the Ethernet being invented, people, because Ethernet has the smart contract function, so it's very easy to build a cloud sale, like on the Ethernet. So people tend to 
use insulin to, re to replace the tra traditional the money raising way. And uh, because the crypto, like the trend rising, everyone become rich. They believe in ICO can make you like very profit, can make a lot of money. So people are crazy about ICO in last year. So we see the business opportunity. So in last year, uh, I figure out, so when I start a startup, a consultancy, I didn't know the business. Then I realized in last year, so the, the problem is you cannot make money, it's not your skill. The problem is you need to pick the right topic. What is the right topic? The first, you need to catch the rising trend. Two years ago, is like in China, is a, a rising trend about uh, teaching people the, your, your knowledge. And the last year is ICO. So if you're catching the right trend, you can make a lot, you can profitable just the size. And the, the second, it, you mean, must to be monopoly. That means you must be the first one to come out with the product. Because if the second one come, comes out, it just cannot compete the first one because you need to convince people to move. So, and the third is your target market must be big, like in states or like in China, the same language market. So the biggest mistake I make is I found my company first in Taiwan. Taiwan is a very small country, like 20 million country and they use traditional language, traditional Chinese language. So our market size is very small. So no matter what, I work in hard. So I cannot make money. But in China, it's different. In States, it's different. So, the, so you need to make sure your topic, your, uh, your, topic, your language, uh, your trend is right. Then you can ma make something really impact. So after the ICO info been being shut down, I have nothing to do. Because like I, I kind of rich enough to, to, to oh, I, can like, uh, I can like just uh, travel for 20 years and without worrying about mon money. So I, I don't know what to do next. So I want to start something new to give me like more challenge and more fun. So I, I think what is like, what can make more than Bitcoin? So I decide, I find, uh, I figure out. So I need to build something can make, make money from Bitcoin. So there are three options I can choose. The first one is crypto exchange, pure crypto. And that means you buy, you using Bitcoin to buy Ethereum to other coins. The second is fiat to create crypto, like Coinbase. You can use USD dollars to buy crypto. The third one is OTC change, like local Bitcoins, the crypto version eBay. So I have three options can do. Most of people will choose crypto through crypto because they think crypto will make a lot of money. Uh, the, the other is probably 75%, they will choose fiat to crypto because they think kind of legit. But real people will choose the OTC exchange because like OTC exchange, you need a lot of customers at all to prevent the fraud. It's a very slow efficiency. So make money le much less than other exchange. So I have three options can do, but I choose uh, OTC exchange. The reason I choose o OTC exchange is I find out there are too many competitors in crypto chains. If you open the crypt, uh, coin, coin market pay, a website list the all the exchange on the world, you will find out it's already like 200 exchange, but actually they probably 10,000 just not, not be listed by coin market pay. So too many exchange in the world. So I think there are too many competitors. So the, the one thing I learned about is you need to be monopoly, not going to the market, they are everyone every people in there. And the second choice I can pick is fiat exchange. But in most of the country, you need to get, get fiat exchange to fiat 
operating license in the country, but it takes a lot of money and a lot of time. So I think about all the options. So finally, I choose the OTC because OTC right now most of coins like Bitcoins, crypto, being treated like virtual product in most of the country. So it comprises the current law. It's the, the thing I can do immediately. And uh, by that time, like last year in September, China shut down all the exchange in, in uh, China, uh, China government shut down all exchange in China because they want to ban the entire ICO ecosystem. But there is a problem. After China shut down the exchange, nobody can like convert their crypto back to fiat because right now no company will accept your fiat or crypto. So the only way is you trade with the messenger, the WeChat messenger is not safe. The other option is you trade with like local Bitcoins. But local Bitcoins, it's been exist for like three or four years. The interface is very hard to use. So nobody in China will use this. So all our money been stuck on the crypto. So I want to solve my own problem. So I decided to build exchange. Plus, I see the trend. This is the local Bitcoins the trading volume. Like every week, I think uh, the fee, the fee on local Bitcoin is 1%. So that's a lot of money. So I think probably I can build one. Like in China, probably I will make a lot of money. So this is the, the story why I choose OTC as my this, this, this time startup topic. The part two is if you got the idea, you got, you got the trend, you must execute in just one month. So OTC, BTC, we have the idea in September 22. We purchase the domain in the next time. Then we launch the product in the next, year, uh, next month. So why, I am, why I'm doing, why well, kind of driving crazy, driving my team crazy, I keep asking him like we need to launch in next month. Because like Chinese people is like fucking crazy. If you, if you do something right, they will copy you. And suddenly, they will what, like 100 competitors by the 10 competitor, the 10th competitor be, uh, pops out. You kind of like, you just cannot play with them. So the, 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 uh, the crucial point is you need to be very fast. I heard a book called, they mentioned a theory called 10 times theory is if you want to make something really monopoly and uh, very like powerful, you can dominate the market. So your solution must be in the uh, very uh, special time. It's kind of like a revolution time. So your product is better, your current solution is better than the current one. It must be 10 times. So why it is one, why it need to be 10 times? It's because the Right, your current customer see their old solution like three times uh, better, and uh, yourself see your product is three times better than current solution. So to become a truly very good product, you need to build the your current solution looks ten times better than current solution. Then when you first build uh, this product, your competitor cannot beat you in ten times because you already beat the old solution then if you your competitor the second people want to do this you they need to be 10 times better otherwise he cannot uh, beat you then will become uh, 100 times harder so the timing is very important so that's why we built this product in such rush time so in my wondering so what method I'm used to build the product so fast. It's like agile. But truth is not, we didn't use any scrum. We even don't write user story. So like we just can kind of, uh, so usually you build a product, you will write user story to describe uh, what is must have, what is should have 
then you have like prioritized it. But we didn't use it at all. So we just do like very simple way. So let's all, this is also the very important lesson I learned in these three years, is you just need to do, to build what is must have, then drop everything else. Everything else is non-important. You just focus on what's the must have. So in our case, most of the scenarios, you have like crypto wallet. You need a crypto wallet, then an advertising system. So, and our platform becomes the escrow agent. In order to make them commute, uh, have like a smooth communication, we be do a trade That is all it matters, because the people hire you to do is to build the escrow trading bridge. It's not some other else. So this is what I learned in another book called Competing Against Luck. So written by Clayton uh, Christian. It's the, like, the book is all about, if, he said, if you want truly, truly innovation, so you didn't, like, com you didn't need to comp compete against luck. There's a framework in, in it. The whole book series, people use your product. It's they hire you to fin uh, complete a job that need to be done. It's not uh, like fancy features. There's always a job. So the re revolution is already a job layer. You just replace it with innovation way. So people always misunderstand it. Like innovation, they think come up with a, night, a fancy idea. This is an innovation. The truth is not. People just need the much efficient way to complete this job. So that's why I say, that, that, so that's why I, I just say, so only build for must have. If you want to catch the trend, you want to get the market, you just only build what is must have. And uh, you need to really focus, because in this uh, scenario, the user story, uh, I am very good at agile and the user story, why I drop them all. And I really focus is when your user story has too, too much character, your complexity will increase, will be exponential. And one more feature or like one more tab, you will get 10 times complexity. For example, like if our system has buyer, trader, administrator, customer support, the uh, complexity will like exponential. And one more tokens, you probably like more tokens are uh, more complex. And uh, one more language, like if we want to support Chinese, uh, English, Spanish, the complexity will also like we be triple something. So you didn't, you don't need to build an all. You just build something need to be done. So our step one is build a single site market. What is single site market is you build a website that can make people can only sell BTC offer. We didn't have like double site. We just you can only buy BTC. You even can can sell uh, BTC and also have like a simple chat room and the simple Chinese only. When we already complete this, then we become like double side market. So that will be much faster. You need to build the whole product, then build a future over uh, on top of it. Then the second phase is sell BTC. And uh, uh, the step three is support more currency, but this is later. So what product market be, it really means you need People always misunderstood the product market fee. It's, you see, p most people think product market fee is try something new, then try the, the small ideas to see cannot fit the product. Actually not, you need to find a real problem, need to solve and the gay get paid and the, the paycheck can feed your team. So that's why how I build this product. So this is kind of against everything I learned 
in the path of engineer careers. But this is what it takes, uh, what I learned in the startup career. The part three is how we grow 20% every week. There's a trick for it. Um, the first thing we do is we have like customer support on WeChat and Telegram. I personally answer every question, my customer uh, question on the Telegram. And the second way is we have uh, intercom. We install intercom. Most engineers very really, really hate to answer customer question because they always think the customer is stupid. They are too stupid to use our product. But before, like three years ago, probably I will think like, but after I joined YC's company, I learned customer feedback is very important because there's a, a pick like this. What is growth? People think growth is like one way to like increase, uh, increase the conversion rate, but actually not. The growth is double, uh, double the, uh, uh, two direction. One is you increase the conversion rate. The second is that you reduce the charm rate. So when, in, when you in the startup stage, it's very hard to increase the conversion rate because you have no resource doing marketing. The only thing you can do is you reduce your churn rate. So how, we, how do we do that? So like the first is very good customer support. We usually respond our customer in less in five minutes. And second is you, you need to find out which customer is very important to you. On our website, there are two kinds of characters. One is the seller, the trader. They will save bitcoins. That the second kind is like, second kind is like customer who purely buy the crypto, and the trader is much important than the buyer. So our trade, our effort is protect the trader because if no one want to sell bitcoins, which they are rich. So if no one want to sell the uh, the bitcoins, your website probably no one to want to use. So we have this kind of policy. So we have our like weekly goal. So we divide our goal because in startup world, there are too many, a thousand things you need to do. So we only we focus one thing at each week. The, uh, the first week is you need to build uh, the trading volume. If no one want to sell Bitcoin on the platform, it probably your platform just fail. The second is, the, if the trader is feel very inconvenienced com compared to the previous solution, they probably will also leave you. Then the third week is like reduce customer complaint. So the cus normal customer is less important than the trader. Then after everything uh, stable, then we got very good uh, user traction and uh, uh, customer feedback and we get a lot of good NPS, then we start a referral program. Then we, in the week, uh, week five, uh, reduce the fraud. We kind of like cast, uh, customer, customer and onboarding oriented to build our product. So that means we don't have PM to control everything. We didn't plan ahead. We just build a master have, then stick the plan, stick with the customer, uh, stick with the customer feedback to build our product. Why I'm doing this is in the Silicon Valley, I used to learn growth hack from the Brian Buffer, the previous uh, VP of growth of HubSpot. Uh, he showed a statics uh, I'm very stunned. This is, he, he showed a picture uh, about why customer left your platform. 30% is the uh, customer don't know what, how to use your product. And the uh, 30% is when he comes in, he didn't feel the product value, so he leave. It's very rarely a technical flaw or other product is good, then they left. They left most of because they don't understand how to use, therefore they feel no value. 
So I'm very shocked by this rule because like in engineers rules, we always think our competitor is be far better than us, so we cannot compete. So the best way to solve is build more feature, but actually not. So most people, when you want to reduce your churn rate, when you want to increase your conversion rate, the first and number one rules is make your product much understanding to make people under, how, understand how to use. So that's the rule. So I invent a framework called onboarding framework. I think this is something uh, very important in this whole talk. Uh, the, I break this into three stages. This is like copy from the human resource framework. So I break it in three stages. The one is before and the ongoing, the after. So you need to pre find why people don't want to use your product, why they hesitate, why they, how they screw up at the first place. And ongoing, you need to find the best practice. Some people give you very good, uh, very positive feedback, but some people say your, your product is shit. So you need to find the, the, the best practice and provide it the, at the, the first time before they, they screw up. So, and make checkpoint to, to see if people fail or just jump. Then after you set up a testimony or referral to build a viral loop. So we have like all, everything in onboarding, kind of like withdraw onboarding, uh, buy Bitcoin onboarding, and uh, like newbie onboarding, kind of a lot of checklists for doing this. So kind of we can pre-interact so most people, most people product, they fail because they stop involved after it's launched. And the most developer will complain about the customer just too stupid because they are not, not about to use our product. So I saw a lot of product die because of this. So when customer complains a lot, it's already too late to fix all of this. So why we, our product is better, a lot of better than other competitors. So honesty in China, our, our OTC competitor, probably like 100 OTC exchange. We are the, the first launch and the, the last standard. That's why we have this framework to pre-interact. So our progress always before every, our uh, competitor almost before uh, six months because we have this kind of framework pre intact uh, beforehand. So part five is uh, viral growth. I, have, I don't have much time, so I'm just quick about uh, This is copy from, uh, we have a referral program. So this is designed for like WeChat. So kind of like Airbnb, we have like uh, a similar system like Airbnb. So when we launch a referral program. We just wait, wait until our NPS is 70. You can Google NPS, what is NPS. We are well until our net promoter score over 70. Then will our product become a viral. This is our statics in 60 days. And uh, when we ICO, we use another ICO to also like make the volume up. So let's, why can, why we can, Grows 30 times in six months. So right now, OTC, BTC already like, we launched already um, five months. We have uh, 200,000 user and uh, uh, 100 million uh, Chinese dollar daily. And we have very good profit. And we are the largest OTC exchange in uh, uh, Asia. And we are the one and, and the only exchange built with rails in the world. So quick summary about this talk. The first, please join us. We are short of hand because we are for, for, uh, very lack of people to like, help us to expand to worldwide. And uh, when, I, um, when I am a developer, I always think uh, development speed is everything. Uh, teamwork speed is everything, and prototype speed is everything. 
So I use a real strong user story. But when I uh, entrepreneur, I think I find out the what is really important is topic and trend and customer and the onboarding. Uh, always you make your product uh, easy to use and uh, it's okay without PM. So either you grow or you die. Thank you. So we